Hey, it's Nikia Nichelle. I'm so happy because I have Miss Robbie here. And first of all, I'm kind of jealous of you, you know, because you, 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 you get to be with Oprah all the time. Not and you all the time. Okay, but no, you. I wish. Now, have you fed her? Let's put this up. Have okay. you fed her belly a little bit? Yes, I fed. She came to the restaurant uh, a couple of years ago, she and Gail, and they kind of sampled everything. Okay. Which was amazing. Now, I feel a little bad because I didn't let the people know you are from Welcome to Sweetie Pies. Yes. Now, Sweetie Pies is a restaurant. It's a restaurant in St. Louis. In St. Louis. Yes. And you cook a lot of Southern food there, right? All Southern. All yes. Southern. Okay. Yes. How did you start at the business yourself? I started the business myself. Okay. Uh, I originally was Ike with Ike and Tina. And I used to cook on the road with them. Okay. So when my career, I stopped singing with them, I'm like, well, what am I going to do next? My mom was an excellent cook. I'm the oldest of nine kids. So, like I say, when we were out with Ike and Tina, everything was segregated. It wasn't a lot of restaurants. I would cook in the hotel with a hot plate and an electric skillet. And everybody would rave about my food. So I needed a new career. I'm like, well... Let me try this. So after Ike and Tina broke up, you were like, I got to do something I for myself. Do something. Exactly. And exactly. and then you started Sweetie Pies. Yes. So you took some of your family recipes, yeah, right? My mom, yes, all family. Okay. Recipes. All family recipes. Yes. And we can go and get some macaroni and cheese. Macaroni, greens, beans, fried chicken, pork chops, smothered pork steak, peach cobbler, caramel cake, pecan pie. Pear cobbler, which is my favorite. A lot of people don't pear know about cobbler. it. Pear cobbler. Pear cobbler. Okay. My mom, when they would pair their, uh, preserve their food in the summer, where everybody did peaches and apples, and when all that was gone, they would bring out the pears. So a lot of people don't know about that. So when they come to my restaurant, I'm like, try the pear cobbler. They've never heard of it. Okay, so, so is that something that you would recommend? Because I've I never would, been to your restaurant. Yeah, I I've would never... recommend the pear cobbler. Okay. You love it. You I, I want to try the pear cobbler. Okay. So. I'm happy you're here because I love food. I love to cook. Okay. Um, I've just been experimenting with cooking for a very long time. When I was a little girl, I got in trouble for buying recipes with my mom's credit card. Oh. <laughs> I made major, a I know yes. that was bad. <laughs> but then as I grew up, I've been able to get them online for free and okay. not have to run up anybody's yes. credit card. So I have to um, talk about the holidays because I decided I was like, I usually cook on the holidays, but okay. I said, okay, I'll do it this year instead of going and mooch off for everybody else. Okay. So let's talk about some of the recipes and, and, and let's dispel some of those debates that we have. Okay. Which is better, pumpkin or sweet potato pie? Sweet potato. Why? Because I love the taste of sweet potato. I don't like pumpkin. It's got a, a, a it's a, a taste you have to acquire. Okay. And I didn't grow up eating pumpkin. Okay. I grew up with candy yams and sweet potato pie. Okay. So that's why I prefer sweet potato pie. Because you know that's the ultimate food war, right? That is, that is, but I say sweet potato. Now what about grits? Sugar grits, or salt? I like salt. Okay. I grew up eating grits for breakfast. Don't you think it's a violation when people use sugar? I do. Okay. I do, but then they turn into a cereal. I know. So, but go, so go ahead and get some cream of wheat. Exactly. Duh. Exactly. Same thing, just a finer grain. Okay. I'm a grit person. I, and my mom, in my house, the best breakfast was Simon Croquettes, biscuit, grits, and fried potatoes with onions. Okay, that, that sounds excellent. Dope. Now, do you do any um, corn brown hash? Any, or is that is that no, southern? I, uh, I think it's southern, but I don't do it. I okay, because do I don't really like. Uh, I know some people do that I like too. That. Yeah, I yeah. don't like it. Okay, but it's not saying it's not a good thing. But I don't like it. Now, if someone wanted to start experimenting for the holidays and cooking foods, what is some simple tips or tricks that you have to kind of help them along with not getting a dry turkey? Because okay. people always have some dry turkeys. You right. know that, right? That's right. That's right. I usually put my turkey in a bag. I put my turkey in a bag and put a can yeah. of broth in there. Yeah. Chicken bouillon or broth. Put it in there. The onions, the celery. Put some margarine or butter in that bag and let it cook, and that is juicy. I know, juicy. isn't it? Yes. Just juicy. Yes. And yes. then what about, like, your side dishes? Because have you ever had someone's dried macaroni and cheese? I, th the worst thing you could have is oh dried goodness. macaroni and cheese. My macaroni and cheese, I use five cheeses. I use evaporated milk. Yes, that, makes that it is creamy. I heard that, too. Yeah, evaporate, And then I also add a little sour cream. Oh, really? That gives a little... 
push to the cheese. To the, the yes. creaminess. Because you yes. know what? I've added sour cream to some of my little pasta dishes. Okay. And it, and it works, works perfect. perfectly. That's right. You think you're going to taste the sour cream, but, but you, you don't. don't. Yeah, you, you think don't. it's a cheese and kind of melts in there, you know. Yeah. Get mingled with the cheese. And it gives it a really good taste. That's one of my favorite. Uh, that's one of my popular uh items on the menu at the restaurant. Oh, Everybody the wants the macaroni and cheese. Oh, yes. okay. Yes. It's, it's one of those sinful ones. Yes. And the, oh, yummy. And, and okay. Butter and margarine. I always add butter and, mar and eggs. Some people don't use eggs, but I like eggs in mine because it makes it creamier. Yeah. Yeah. Now, let's talk about the restaurant, Sweetie Pies, because okay. I heard you're a tough cookie, even though they're saying Sweetie Pie. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a sweetie, and I'm a sweetie sweetie but you know i'm it's my business and mm -hmm. i want it to be right i got people coming expecting to get a great meal and that's what i want to do so i go back there with the iron fist and make sure i taste all my food and i say as a cook if it don't taste good to me i don't want to serve it to you now is mostly family members working with you a lot of family members but we got a bunch of restaurants so it's family member in each restaurant i've got a lot of outside people that can cook Okay. And and cooking is something that you do with love. I mean, you can follow the recipe, but I cook to taste. Yeah, me so, too. And then that's the secret to any um, recipe. I agree. You got to keep tasting it and make sure it might need a little bit more butter than the recipe say, mm -hmm. a little bit more flavor. So I throw all that in and I just keep tasting. When it gets there, yeah, I'm like now this is good. And yeah, I put it out there. Do you have any conflicts with? Because I know a lot of people are like, oh, family and business doesn't mix, and you know, oh, well, this one can't listen, or they think, oh, well, you my cousin, I should get a hookup. You know, yeah, do that you happens. ever have? Okay. Yeah, I, that happens. I mean, Charles think he should have his own restaurant. <laughs> Tim think he should have 50 of them. <laughs> so, I mean, we run into those battles. What do you do uh, to, well, you to just, keep it, the love there and not, you know, fight over this and still run a successful business? You well, know? you know, the love is going to be because we're family. But business is business. So when it comes to that, uh, you sometimes you have to go where it takes you, to court or whatever, <laughs> because it's business. Have you gone to court? Not yet. Oh, <laughs> Not yet. You said you, you Not would yet. go. <laughs> right, but I will. Hey. Okay. If you kill my dog, I'll kill your cat. <laughs> Simple as that. Okay. So, okay. but I, I do it with love. Oh, you do it with I love. I do it with that, love. That's right. the key, right? That's the key. That's Anything the key. you do, you do, do it with, with love. love. That's okay. Right. That's right. Yeah, so, because I always wondered about that. I mean, it's, 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 a, it's a restaurant, and restaurants can be a tough business. It is a tough business, you and know? you have to be dedicated and be there. And it's a lot of work, a yeah. lot of work. And if you put all your heart into it, you don't want to see it go downhill. I don't like it. I mean, you can't please everybody, but my heart hurts when people come and say, I didn't like the this, I didn't like that, because you're there. I want them to like everything, of and course. I put my all in it. Mm -hmm. Now, you're sharing some of the love in yes. a, a, a book you've, you're putting out. A cookbook. A cookbook. Yes. yes. And it, it, does it have some of the secret recipes? It's got all the recipes, but like you're I not say, afraid of your secret going out? No, because everybody cooks different. I found that out. If you give me your recipe for a cake, I make my cake, it's not going to be like yours. Okay. It's not going to be. It just don't work like that. I mean, you try to stick to the recipe. I've got a girl that makes a great pound cake, gave me the recipe. I make the cake, I can never get it done. <laughs> I never get it done. It's always a little part in the middle. So it doesn't matter about the recipe. Uh, and then you want people to, to want to pass your recipes on. So right. Because I'm doing my mom's and her mom and then my travels through the road. I pick up little tips, take them home and enhance my recipes. So it always gets better and better and better. And I, like I say, I cook to taste. If the recipe said two tablespoons, I might pour half a bottle. <laughs> Because so, it makes it taste better. I have a and everything's better Would with butter. <laughs> I know, right? That's what it's all yeah. this fat is butter. Yes, yeah, butter. Okay, so yeah. you, you what? Now the name of the cookbook. I I know I forgot it. It's a sweetie pie soul food cookbook from my family we, to, to yours. yours. Yes, right. Yes. Okay. And is it out? It's out in bookstores. It's, out. it's okay. out in bookstores. You can get it on Amazon and okay. things like that. And I did the cookbook because. A lot of young kids come in and, Miss Robbie, I ain't had peach cobbler since my grandmother. And I'm like, did you get the recipe? And they're like, no. I'm like, is she still around? They're like, no. So I decided I would do a cookbook. And soul food is a dying breed. Yeah. And I want to try to keep it going and make sure my mom's recipes are here after I'm gone. Yeah. Were yeah. you excited to start? I mean, you've, you know, you started an empire. And that's pretty 
it's amazing. It is. Yeah. I mean, you know, I, I'm, I'm so glad it turned out that way, but I didn't have a clue that it was going to happen. I was just trying to find something that I could do and, and employ my family, and we could just live happy ever after. And it turned out, so that just shows you it could happen to anybody. It happened to me. Right. So I'm no different. Yeah, yeah that is really amazing, I think. And then for Oprah to say, Let's do a reality. Oh, oh my God. Oh, can Did you, you almost it? have a heart attack? I okay. had a heart attack. I'll tell everybody. <laughs> Look, Tim was going was in Texas in barbecue school. I don't know the name of school. And he called and said, Mama, they say Oprah might be interested in the show. Don't say nothing. How do you tell somebody, <laughs> don't say nothing, you know? So I right. had to walk around two or three weeks with that under my belt. And finally, when it said go, and then You're I didn't want to tell. I bit. didn't want to tell anybody because in case she didn't want it. I know. So and then yeah, your bubbles busted. Yeah. Don't you hate that? So all right. So but honey, it happened, and I was like, thank you, thank you. And we just do our normal thing on the show. It's a family that's crazy mm -hmm. in a restaurant cooking. We have the ups and downs. I mean, every day is not a guaranteed business. Every day, I mean, if I could woke up one morning. And there's not 50 people in line. I'm like, oh, Lord, please don't let it be over. No, oh, oh, Jesus, no. please. You know, because it's, it's a business. Right. And they don't last forever. Yeah. So, so, yeah, speaking of that, businesses don't last forever. Yeah. I heard that you're thinking about or you're going back into singing. Singing my the love of my life next to chicken. <laughs> <laughs> what about the yeah. husband? <laughs> husband? Well, you know what? That's over there. I haven't found one yet. I'm 76. Oh, okay. So I haven't found him. So he's not at the top of my list oh, anymore. Oh, okay. But he's there if he pops up I someplace. Thought I, I thought this was your wedding ring. No, I bought all these for me. Oh. Myself. I'm I not waiting. Like I'm you. not waiting no, on nobody. them. Nobody. No, no, no. <laughs> like I'm that. giving myself my flowers. So okay. when I, you and you want them. Don't go But here. yeah, but my singing, I, I did a concert in L.A. Uh, first time in 30 years. Okay. Uh, and it turned out really good. I had a packed house. Uh, Beyonce's mom came. Really? Chris Rock's mom came. Pa uh, she, uh, Frida Payne, her daughter. Everybody came out. Other girls that were iCats with me. Okay. Uh, after me. They came. It was a packed house. So I used to write, but I never recorded because when I was with Ike, he would take all the material. So I just stopped uh, recording. He so, would take your material? Yeah, well, everything was Ike Turner. Everything was Ike Turner. So if you wrote a song, you didn't get recognized how did, for it. I mean, how, I mean, back in those days, things were, I, mean, I didn't know anything about publishing or writing a song, what happens. I was just happy to have my song okay. to sing it, you know. And so when you would be, I mean, how would he know that you wrote something? Because I mean, he'd ask us, you, you got some songs, and you were proud to say, listen to my song I wrote. And he would record it. And, and then take it. And yeah, but we didn't know it was taken. It was just Oh, you didn't it, even know no, it was we didn't taken? Know it. We didn't know when we see the song out, it had Ike Turner on it. Oh, my so, God. You, but it was I kept singing it. I kept singing it, but it was Ike Turner as the writer. So, and so is, it, were some of those songs going to Tina then? No, not going to her. She would be on them, too. I mean, she sang background with us like so, she did everything else. So who would be like, okay, so you wrote a song. He would take it, record it, on the put ICATs. his name on it, uh -huh. and then is our, so there's a, a group called the ICATS that they're just like singing as a whole group. Yeah, we were the ICATS. We were a featured part of the Ike and Tina Turner Review. Okay. So we sang behind Ike, and we had our own records. We had I'm Blue. We had oh, several okay. records I didn't out. Know that. Yeah, yeah, okay. we had a lot of records out. Okay. And uh, so he would put his name. So I never even brought up another song that I had written before. So with the company this time, they were like, they want to do something on me. Miss Robert, you got songs that you wrote before? I'm like, I got a lot of songs. So I dug and show you how deep I had to dig. It was on cassettes. Oh my so God. then I had to find somebody that had a cassette player. And to play it. To play it. Okay. And I went into the studio and recorded two of them. And it should be out on iTunes by the time the show airs on November the 19th. Okay. One's called uh, Come Back and Finish What You Started, okay. about my first boyfriend. Oh. And the second one was about my first love, What Would I Do Without You? Oh, so, and did, so you, did you sing that at your concert? I sang it at my concert, okay. yes. It, and, and you had the Ikeettes with you? No, well, I had background singers, okay, though, but not the Ikeettes. And I had a live band. I did it the old-fashioned way, went in the recording studio, 
with a live band. Okay. And it turned out pretty good. I mean, I wasn't my best voice because I haven't been singing. Right, I was going to ask you yeah. that. Does it get a little rusty? Yeah, it gets a lot, a lot okay. rusty. But <laughs> a lot rusty. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, but I did it and I enjoyed it and then, and then they decided to do the concert. Okay. So it, I think the concert would be the finale of the show. This really? season, oh, yes. Well, okay, yes. so they'll, people will get to see. People will get to see, and you can get the songs on iTunes. Were you nervous? I was so nervous you and scared. Were? And in the first place, I didn't know anybody in L.A. I don't live there anymore. I was worried. I was back there praying, please let somebody come. Please let them come. And before I went on, they came and said, Miss Robin, the house is packed. I'm like, thank you, Jesus. Now, were you then nervous? my heart. I know, but oh. were you nervous that maybe you know you get up there and because after a while you haven't been doing it you're like oh my god am i going to be able to do this you know yes. in front of this room full of people yes all of the above all, all of, of the above okay. scared i mean my heart was like beating so hard i had to calm myself down calm down calm down calm yeah. down you can do this i mean from the walk from the dressing room to the stage i'm like please don't let me pass out and i said three things to the audience i'm like I, you know, thanking them for coming. I said I had three prayers. Lord, please let them like me. Let my voice hold out. And don't let my wig fall off. <laughs> <laughs> Those were my main concerns. <laughs> So I made right. he answered all of those, so I was good. <laughs> that is funny. Well, I mean, I am really interested about this singing career because, you know, I feel like a lot of the, the – material and st stuff that we grew up on we don't have that don't have it anymore right, right. so to bring right. back that old soul and that's you know I mean. yes. continue doing it i think that that's amazing i'm loving it you know i, I told him when i wrote these songs it was when people were loving each other yeah. and dancing together and so wooing each other it, exactly yeah. so i want to see us do that again i mean you could be young old whatever but i just want to see that love all my songs are about love because that's really important. If you love something, you're gonna love doing it. So I'm I'm excited about these songs and doing what I love best. You know, music is my first, chicken is my second. Okay, <laughs> I got that. Uh, mine is shrimp. Okay, or I love shrimp too, oh lobster God, too. Yes, yes. And steak, I love a good steak. Now, have you been going out here and no, trying some of the restaurants? Not yet, I but just got you? here last night. Yeah. Oh yeah, I love to eat and okay. I love to go to every city and try whatever it's like. Today we're going to peaches yeah so I, i've never tried their food so to I'm, do a I'm book excited. signing at peaches. yeah okay. exactly and i don't know what type of restaurant it is but i'm looking forward yeah, to eating yeah i haven't heard of it actually. okay i don't know yeah i, I don't, don't know, know they either. might be taking you somewhere uh, i know no, i'm kidding i'm kidding i'm kidding but i'll let you know <laughs> yeah keep me posted on that <laughs> no I, no i'm kidding but um okay. before you go i wanted to ask you when you realized that your material was being taken were you upset like were you not really because no. i didn't know any better no i didn't know any better it's just like you know better you do better okay but i didn't know and then i didn't know there that could have been monies or royalties or publishing i didn't know yeah i didn't know so we but just now gotta, you know i feel like dang all that money's gone yeah it's gone and he's dead and so. he's dead <laughs> right. yeah you ain't it's, gonna uh, get it back anytime and you know what i just chalked that up to being a lesson in life you, I know better now, so I've got my own publishing, mm -hmm. doing everything myself. Now, do you still talk to Tina? Would you guys I, ever? Because you kind of have her, like, I want to say swag, but I don't know. Oh, you know, well, we started together. That's when right. people say, you sound like Tina. Yeah. Well, it's not that I sound like her, but we started together. We know all the same moves. We learned them together. I was down at her... Um, they turned her schoolhouse into a museum. Oh, okay. And they have some type of celebration. I was down there this year in Brownsville, Nutbush. And her people, Rhonda, keeps us informed when she talked to me, how you how you doing? And when I talk to her, how's Ann doing? Because we call her Ann. Okay. And and we just, that's how we keep in touch. Um, just through but, other people? Yeah, other people, through okay. her people. Yeah. And so she lives in Switzerland. And she's retired. So I, I'm not going over there, and she says she's not coming back. So I don't blame her. Right. Not in this yeah, mm, right. situation. I don't blame her. So <laughs> before you go, we definitely have to let people know how they could see the Sweetie Pies. I know it's um, uh, November, November the 19th. 19th. Yeah. I was told November the 19th. Yes. Nine 
9 p.m. Eastern Pacific, right? Eight, yeah, eight, eight, eight nine Central. Central, yes. yeah. See, I get that <laughs> confused we, too. We did it together. Right, that's right. <laughs> November 19th, Sweetie Pies on OWN. Yes. On OWN, they have to watch. That's right, right. The last OWN person that mm -hmm. I interviewed was for Queen Sugar. Do you watch that show? I watch it every, okay, yes, every yes, time. love so it, love it. So they need to tune into what you're doing too on yes, Saturday. Yes, exactly, Saturday? November the 19th. Yeah. Don't forget. And then hopefully, uh, maybe you could also do, like, do you do actually cooking tutorials like I'm sometimes oh, sometimes yeah okay. yeah I've, I've done that on all the shows I've done cooking yeah, yeah like like yeah. cooking demos yes I've done so that they before. can definitely get a little you know tips and tricks before the holiday season yes okay. yes yes and I'll, a little holiday tr uh, tip have everybody bring a dish that can cook and they'll make it easy on you. On you. That's yes. A, that's a great holiday That's tip. right. Right. A any, anything else? To that, that's about it. Make sure everybody's got a relative that brings a dish that nobody eats. Right. And they bring the same dish every year. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you hate that? I hate it's it. It's like, right. what are you doing? Right. But you can't make them feel bad. You no. just get a little bit. And my act tip like it. is I use my mom because she's lo she loves to clean. Okay. And she's my assistant as far as cleaning goes. Okay. That's good. So my she, sister Jan. Yeah. Okay. So you got to yes, have a I, sidekick. That's that's right. You know, that's, that, doesn't that, mind that, that does not mind because they right. can't cook. That's see? right. 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 So you exactly. use them in that capacity. <laughs> that's right. My sister killed me. She said I, she knew I said she couldn't cook. But she's the type of cook. She'll put the cornbread in the oven and say, oh, I forgot the sugar. And open the <laughs> oven and put the sugar in there while it's cooking. <laughs> okay. so, it's like, no. Right. You done messed up the recipe, You messed girl. up the recipe. Now That's we got right. creme brulee cornbread. That's right. Exactly. You know, something like that. But, yeah. yeah. So they definitely need to tune in to uh, November the 19th. 19th. Yes. Welcome to Sweetie, Sweetie Pies, Pies. Yes. on OWN. On OWN, that's good enough. It was great talking to you. Hopefully Thank you. next time we could do something in the kitchen together. I love it. I I'm love it. that would be a really good idea. I would love it. Looking forward to it. Please have me back. Okay, thanks. God Robbie. bless you. Thank you.